Hi hey, YouTube, Thomas here. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's Saturday. Um, I'm working, uh, but I took some time off just to make this YouTube about uh, my opinion on the first episode of Star Trek Picard. And I am a, a Trekkie. I've been to numerous conventions. I've been to uh, the Star Trek experience in Las Vegas, and I miss that so much. And I've been to uh, a lot of events involving Star Trek, and I've watched every movie and every show, except for this, except for uh, Discovery. Um, not my cup of tea, but I'm going to say um, I have some reservations with that. Um, and I've watched about a half of an episode, and I actually, I would actually say I've seen about the first season. I've seen about three episodes, and it didn't really hold my interest. So uh, when the announcement for Star Trek Picard came out, I was very excited to uh, see the captain reprise his role again and to take charge. And um, I'm a Patrick Stewart fan. Or excuse me, a, a Sir Patrick. Stewart fan. He is a, a, a MBE. Um, look that up, okay? Uh, which means that he has uh, a title uh, given by the Queen of of England uh, for his uh, accomplishments in the arts, and we thank him so much for what he's done. And I've been a big fan since 1975 with I Claudius. So I've been watching him for a long time. So. Um, I'm going to just say that I'm going to thank him for, her, for what he's done, and I'm going to thank him for what he's as he's tried to accomplish. And I'm also going to thank CBS, Viacom. Now you guys are together again. I'm going to say thank you very much for for putting this back on and uh, for putting him back on. And I uh, appreciate what you guys did. And and I'm going to say thank you. Um, I didn't pay the price of the. Uh, access, uh, CBS Access, because I feel that even though you put this on, why should Star Trek fans have to pay a premium for this when in the past it was already on commercial TV? So I don't really feel that you guys are really doing us a, just a, a, a service by making us pay extra for this. But that's your decision, and I know what business is about. So you guys are there to make decisions about your about your your brand, and and God love you. I'm going to do the same thing with my brand, okay? And if I don't want to pay for that, then it's my decision, and you have the right to charge, and I have the right to say no. And in that opinion, I'm going to say no. But we're going to move on, and I'm going to talk about. Uh, the first episode, uh, I've heard several YouTubers talk about this, and one was not happy. The other one was said it was the next thing to slice bread, um, and I wanted to see for myself. So last night I've I watched it, and uh, I had some problems. I had some really problems. Have, I, I, there's several plot holes, and and I was list. I was when I watched the, the YouTubers, um, the nerd erotic. Okay, I'll tell you what. I, I saw his review, and Eagle Tastic Fan uh, Fun Time. I seen his review also, and and their a dichotomy of of both, and I wanted to see for myself, and I I got a problem. I think my review is more going up with nerd erotic because there were some issues. Uh, there were some things that I didn't like. The first issue I'm going to come up with is from the opening scene where we got Picard getting up from the bed after he woke up from spoiler alert. Okay, I should say spoiler alert, but you should be. I'm going to do that anyway. So spoiler alert. So. When Picard got up from his uh, dream where he was um, back on the uh, the D, and he opened up to uh, his vineyard, 
I had a big problem with that because to me, he's in the big house and he's looking up on his, his vineyard like he's the king. And you got the minions down there toiling array. It kind of reminds me of him being in the big house and he's a plantation owner. Uh, and, and and they said this is supposed to be Chateau uh, Picard. That's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that this guy's right down in the south and he's looking at his slaves slaving away. And I, I just I just had that feeling. And I, I don't want to have that feeling. But you guys put that in my mind when you open up the curtains and hear the people, um, you know, the, the slaves and they're slaving away, even though they might be androids or what have you. It just left a bad taste in my mouth. And I and I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. But I had that feeling. And, 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 it, and, it, and it made me upset. And it, it, and it, it just to me, it didn't need to be there. They could have shot it a different way than what they did. So I had a problem with that. The second problem that I had with is that this the the, the young lady that uh, I forgot her name, the show or something like that. Uh, she's in the in the uh, in a compromised position with her boyfriend, and they're talking about she just got admitted to the Daystrom Laboratory, um, and that's cool. That's cool. And then the boyfriend, he's a, this is a new character, a new person, and we don't know anything about this guy. He's a new. Um, species, I guess. Okay, and so we don't know anything about this guy. And the, and then uh, the what we found to see that these are Romulan agents come in and they kill the boyfriend. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm with you on that. But the thing is, you you the guy stabbed them in the heart. How do you know that's where his heart is? How do you know that his heart was right there? We don't know who this guy is. So my thing is that how are you going to hit him in the heart if you don't know that's where you're hitting for? I mean, I would have been much more I would have been much more good with a headshot. OK, I'm sorry. But then we know he's dead. But how do we know he has Did we get the right heart? Doctor Who has two hearts. So you might have got one, but the other one might be still living. So and why are you hitting there? Some people they said uh, in various places that um, various uh, thing the various um, shows that I've seen that that heart it can be somewhere other than in the dead center of the chest in the sternum. I had a problem with that. We have not been introduced to this to this uh, life form, so I don't know. So okay, I'm I'm gonna go that way. Okay, uh, there were some people saying that that um, in the 23rd century you put people uh, put a bag on a person's head. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to this. Okay. To me, their intention is to take her and to deliver her to some place. That was their intention. That's the reason why they had a bag on her head. Okay. We're going to pick that up later on. Okay. The next thing I had a problem with is when the young lady shows up to at the, the various things. Her, her boyfriend uh, is murdered and then she get these visions about Captain Picard and, and that she feels comfortable with him. So she goes to the Chateau uh, Picard. So my thing is, is that if you're a captain of the, of the Enterprise and had been, and you are used to having security, where's your security? You got number one, but you know, you give him a bone, he done, you know? So who is protecting him? And I know there's got to be some people got some got some grudges, as we've seen in the first season, the Ferengi. Uh, the, no, it was a season two, season three. There was a Ferengi who had a, a, a beef with Captain Picard. So where's your security at? <laughs> That's that struck me as very strange. OK, now you got the, you know, his the people who live with him. Uh, I think they're they're Vulcan. OK. All right. OK, I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going to let that pass because they they have a, a friendship with him. So I'm going to say, OK, you good. OK, I'm going I'm going to look past that. OK, I'm going to look past it. OK, but I got a problem, but I'm going to let to see how this plays out. OK, now the young lady, she's she's at Picard, Chateau Picard's house. OK, so the thing is, is uh, she rolls out. OK, and she leaves Chateau Picard, okay. So while you're leaving, if, this, if they told you this place is safe, why are you rolling out? <laughs> you, you you gambling the ball, the, the dice again. 
So she's in contact with her mother. Her mother says she go back to Chateau Picard and then to go and get in contact with him. Okay, we're going to go back to Chateau Picard. Picard says, well, he had the, um, the interview with uh, the young lady and they talked about uh, what happened, why he left Starfleet. And okay, all right. And people said it. <laughs> and I agree also with this. Uh, the Klingons, not the Klingons, the Romulans have billions of people, not millions of people. Okay, and then they all they also have ships too. So why are we building a, an armada? Then we don't need to build an armada. They have other ships. There are other there are other planets. There are other. We could reach out and say, look, we got this problem. Can we need some help here? Can you come and help us with this? Because we we're out there making friends. So have your friends help you instead of we're just building an armada. That don't make any sense at all. And I agree. The Nerd Rock said that, you know, that does not make any sense because you're building strips and you don't need to because you got you got friends. I mean, we are making friends out there and we can call on them and they can help out with this. That's totally ludicrous. That's I had a problem with that. I really had a problem with that. And I agree. And that's 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 you don't need to do that. If there's other ships out there, why are you building more? So. So she goes and she's thinking about it. The next thing we see Picard, he leaving Chateau Picard again. And it goes all the way to Starfleet Academy, Starfleet, Starfleet to look at some pictures that he that is in his uh his archives okay all right my problem with this is that okay you gonna tell me that starfleet has a room dedicated to admiral picard just for him to keep his stuff in there and nobody's gone in there just him uh not even maintenance Okay. All right. I'm, I, I don't. I don't kind of like that too much, and I'm. I'm. I'm thinking that's loose, but I, I'll. I'll just let it play on. Okay. Then he leaves uh, the archives. He finds what he needs, and he goes to. Uh, he's on his way out, and then the young lady she started tracking him up, and then she found him. And the next thing is, uh, he's leaving Starfleet. And then she pops up right next to him. Say, like, okay, well, where you go? Okay, my problem is this. How are we going to these places? How is he going from Chateau Picard all the way to Starfleet? How he's transferring this? How How's he getting there? Is he beaming himself over? Is he walking? Is he catching an Uber? Uh, what's going on? Does he have a lift, a special lift? I don't know. How is he getting there? And how, I mean, how is she getting to where she's going? How is this happening? You know, I mean, I would like to see how these people are moving. Uh, I mean, does they, they call her Uber? Do they, I mean, what happens? Is she running all these places? How is she getting to these places? And and then she's right by him and she, she was able to track him and she knew where she was at. But, okay, <laughs> how much time has lapsed? What are we talking about time lapse? I mean, how much time are we talking? Are we talking minutes here? Are we talking days or microseconds? I don't know. There's no there's no frame, no sort of reference of time here. And that, that's a problem, too. Did, is this the next day? Did all this happen the next day? I don't know. That would help me a little bit to, to, to follow along. The next day this happened. The next day this happened. This all just happened just like in one day we got all this stuff going on. I don't understand that don't understand it so we go on so um the rumblings find them okay this is where i had some other problems okay she is walking with him and um told him you know they they, they try to pick up the pace and captain picard you know he's aged in his 80s now you know he, he he's not 40 anymore he's in his 80s and he needs some help so they go up one flight of stairs the next pick and she's helping them the next cut we see they're already up on the on the, on the top floor on the roof okay how'd that happen did she just pick him up and throw him? no no he she was helping him but 
there was no way that we seen them go up the, the rest of the, how many other floors they were up. There might be three or four of them. I don't know. But we don't see them transferring up until they get to the top. Okay. All right. All right. What happened here? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know how this happened. Okay. The next thing. <laughs> this is really crazy. The the Romulans uh, arrived and they then and, and, and they then they're angry as hell. Okay. And so the, the we're gonna go back to the beginning where the young lady they were firing on her. Now the, they they're out for murder now. They're gonna kill her. Instead of having phases on stun, they got the phases set to kill. So I don't get it. First we wanted to capture her, now we want to kill her. Okay. So why did the decision go from capturing to killing. I don't understand. Don't get that. And then the, 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 then the really thing is that when she gets killed, she shoots uh, a Romulan and the Romulan spits on her. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you spit. But then the, 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 the gun that she had and then it uh, starts to sizzle. Next thing you know, it explodes. Okay. All right. Our these Ramas now part alien now the aliens you know when you cut them they spread acid and and, and that's a problem so why are these rivalins spitting acid to cause this kind of problems and and then and the, she blew up because of the acid i don't get this are we watching aliens or are we watching star trek what's up two different movies i don't get it so why you got that going on and then my, my last pet peeve, uh, mind you, is still like the last five minutes of the show. They bring on a Romulan. Excuse me. I think he's a, I think he's a Vulcan. I think he's a Vulcan. But he has a British accent. Okay. All right. How do you become a Romulan or a Vulcan? I'm not sure which one he is. And he has a British accent. Okay. So... Either he's the Romulan has been living on Earth in the UK or he's been living in Romulan and he came over to live in the UK. OK, I'm, you know, everybody needs a job. I found that there's a there's a, a lot of practice. There's a lot of of actors who have British accents and and find you. I don't I don't mind that at all. I mean, that's what they do. And and they need a job. I have no I have no problem with that. My problem is with this. How are we going to explain a Rowling with a British accent? I don't know. I don't know. Well, those are my rants about this show. And I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Well, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to my rant. Okay. And I hope you go ahead and watch it for yourself. And you take the decision on how it came out for you. And let me know. Did I miss something? Okay. I might have missed a couple. There's, I might have missed the Easter eggs. Some of them. You know, I'm not going to go there, but I'm glad they're there. So just go ahead and look for yourself. And hit me on the line. Or let me know how you feel about this. Because I want to know. Did I miss something? Is it me? Did I do something wrong? Um, about this and did I misinterpret it so I mean because it's a learning process so all right peace out have a great one